Hey everybody, how many times have you been on social media and somebody will post a trail camera photo and say, what do you think this buck scores? Normally they don't know, so they're asking for people to guess and people throw out numbers all over the place. A lot of times I chuckle because some people just don't know how to score a buck. There's nothing wrong with that because I'm not much of a scorer myself, but we use scoring to quantify how big a buck's rack is. You know, he could be a 10 pointer. How big is that 10 pointer? Give me some idea. That's what we're gonna do today is we're gonna show you how to rough score a rack so you have a better idea when you get those pictures of those deer on your trail cameras, then you don't have to ask. Now I have two different bucks here. This is an 11 point, this is a 10 point. I'm gonna score the 10 point. You look at these two racks, you think which one is bigger, and I'm gonna give you an idea here. It's really easy. It's just a couple basic measurements. Now on this 10 pointer here, it's gonna be 19 total measurements. If he was an eight pointer, he'd be 17 total measurements, but I'm just gonna go through it with you real quick here. So basically what you have is you have the points. So you're gonna score one, two, three, four points on this side, not the tip, just these four points. And then you have four mass measurements. Now the mass measurements, as I'm gonna show you, are the middle of that mass measurement. We're gonna to get to that. We're gonna do that on both sides. We're gonna measure the beam on both sides of the rack and then we're gonna measure the spread. We're gonna add it all up and see what we come up with. So what do you think this buck scores? Let's get to it. So the first thing you do, get yourself a soft tape. This is a couple bucks at the dollar store, real easy to use. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start, what I do is I start with the mass measurements because they're easiest. Now you have on this buck here, you're gonna have four mass measurements. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna go from the base of the antler for the first one to the end point here halfway through. So you're gonna do that on all four mass measurements. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the tape measure halfway between those two points and bring it around here. And that one is precisely five inches. So I'm gonna write that down. That's my mesh measurement number one on the right-hand side. The second one, same thing. Brow tine to here, that measurement, halfway between. And we're doing it by eighths. So you have to think about that. So this one is four and one eighth. And I'm gonna show you how I do that on my score sheet here. To add it up later. So we got one, we got two, number three, same thing. Bring that around. That one's four inches right on the nose. And our mass measurement number four. Now on a 10 pointer, it's halfway between those two points here. And I'm going to show you something else here once I get this one here. Boy, this is lining right up. It's three inches on the nose. It usually doesn't happen that way. You usually have eighths in there. Now, if this was an eight pointer and you didn't have this little G4 here, what we would do is we'd take the halfway mark between this point and the end of his beam. So it'd be right there on an eight pointer. So just keep that in mind. So now what we're gonna do is we have the mass measurements done. We're gonna do the points. Now we call the points G1, G2, G3, G4. So we're gonna go right here. I have to lift the rack up. Now the thing that you need to understand here is on all these points, you're gonna draw an imaginary line where that point meets the main beam and that's where we're gonna be measuring, measuring it. Most people get this wrong and that's where they overinflate the score. They start measuring down into the beam. While you add that up across all those points, you're gonna get it wrong. So we're gonna go right at the intersecting point where that point meets the beam and bring it down and we're looking at uh, it's two and two and two eighths and we call that the G1 same thing on the G2 I'm gonna bring this down here and go to the end and we're gonna measure along the curvature of the point I'm gonna wrap that down and again where that point meets the main beam is seven and three eighths and then on our next point here, measure that down, wrapping it along the curvature of the beam, of the point, I'm sorry. It is eight and an eighth. And then this last point, it has to be an inch to count. So we're gonna put that there, it is an inch. It is actually an inch and four eighths. So that's pretty easy. Now what we're gonna do is we have to measure the main beam. Now the main beam starts down at the base of the, where the pedicle meets the skull, and we're gonna measure the outer 
length of that main beam all the way down. So if you want to think about this, think about an imaginary line that goes straight down the middle of that beam all the way to the end. Now this isn't, you know, I'm not doing this for official score. We just want to get a rough score here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take, take our tape measure, take it to the bottom of that beam and just hold it as we go up just to get an idea here and wrap it around. A good buck is normally going to have about an 18 inch main beam on a good mature buck. We'll see where he ends up here. And he's right there. He is 20 inches right in the nose, which is a really nice main beam. So we have that. That's, that's one side. We have one side all the way done. We're going to do the other side, add them up, and then add in the spread. So this sheet here that I've created, this is just my own way of doing it. Like I said, this is not an official score that I would submit to a club. But basically the way I look at it is just the number of measurements. So we start with the mass measurements and there's four of them. And I just call them M1, M2, M3, M4. And the G points are the actual tines of the buck. So we got G1, G2, G3, G4. If we had extra points, I'd add those in there as well. And then the beam is the bottom score on the sheet. And that gives me just a real quick accounting for when I'm gonna add this all up and come up with a rough score on this deer. So I have my 18 main measurements on this deer. The last measurement, the 19th measurement, is the inside spread. And that inside spread is the farthest straight line spread between the antlers. So it's normally right in between there. And again, this is not gonna be perfect, but it's close. You can use a straight line ruler for this if you want. But this buck here is about 15 and an eighth. He's about 15 and an eighth inside spread. So when I'm done, then I'm just gonna add up both columns and come up with a subtotal, which is uh, 115 and 3 eighths. Don't forget our inside spread. Uh, we have 100, uh, 130 and 4 eighths. So there you have it. It's not perfect, it's certainly not official, but I can put my hands on this deer right now and confidently say, that's a 130 class buck.